Hi, I'm Rob with SkidsteerSolutions.com and I'm here with the Terra Sidewinder Flail Mower. This is a 36 inch mower and it's meant to go on everything from this boxer that you see here to a Vermeer, a Ditch Witch, Bobcat MT, ASV RC30, you name it, we've got a mount for it. Because we use a universal mounting system on the back here, we're able to bolt on any type of mounting system that you require. The Terra Sidewinder Mini Flail Mower is an ideal mower for all types of situations, simply because it has a sliding rail here. So this allows you to mow in a standard cut pattern, as well as side shift it over to one side. So you can do ditch lines around ponds or anywhere where you've got kind of a, a, a tough area to get into where you need to get off to the side of the tracks of your machine. We use always Permco motors on these. There's different sizes available for every single type of machine. So all the way from seven gallons up to 25 gallons which is outside the range of what you're using anyways, but we can cover you with that. And those are all in stock at Skid Steer Solutions. So the mowers are built by Terra. They're on the shelf. And then all we do is we swap out the motors depending on what you require based on your order. You'll notice this is a very safe design, meaning there's not really anything that's gonna come back and hit an operator or hit people that are watching you mow. And that's simply because it cuts forward and up into the drum and then all the material drops down behind. Now, as with any attachment or anything that you run, you still want to wear some safety equipment just to be sure. So I will be wearing a safety mask and this is quite a loud machine, so I will be wearing my ear, my earmuffs. But other than that, um, it's a really safe attachment to operate and it runs very cleanly and very smoothly. Let's talk about construction. Now let's remember this is meant to go on small machines. So it's not going to be as heavy as the bigger mowers, but it's going to be as heavy as needed to run on this size of machine. So it's 3 16 construction with gussets all around, as well as this backbone tube, which provides the, the strength across the back of the mower. The Terra Sidewinder mower is made in the USA using only the finest materials. Starting with the housing, uses 3 16 structural steel. That's reinforced with quarter inch and 3 8 plate. What this design does for you is it gives you a strong mower that's both durable and long lasting. Terra used nothing but brand name motors on these Sidewinders. You won't find any gray market parts or motors on anything produced by Eterra. Let me just get on the machine. I'm going to lift it up and show you the underside of this mower so you can see just some of the quality items that go into the manufacturing of a Sidewinder mower. So starting top to bottom, first of all, you're going to see these deflection shields. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. This keeps the material in a safe trajectory so that it doesn't bounce out and hit the either the operator or any kind of bystanders. Here's our housing. It's nice and curved, so it allows the material to go up inside, get ground up even more, and then put, put back down right behind the mower. This is our 5-inch DOM steel drive system. What's DOM? It's drawn over mandrel. It's a specific type of tubing that's used in high-speed applications. It's not just a piece of tubing. It's very specialized, it's balanced, and it's very, very expensive to use, but it's the best type of material to use in this type of application. These are our one pound blades. There's 20 of them. They're offset, but they're actually, they're identical. So they're just, they're just put face to face here for this application. Now they are reversible. All you do is undo the bolts, flip them over, and you can run them the other direction. So you can get many, many hundreds of hours out of these blades without ever having to replace them. The type of blades used are very common, so you can find them on a Saturday at any of your local supply houses. And last but not least, it features this heavy three inch roller. What this roller does is it allows you to set a height and maintain it. So no matter how bumpy the terrain is that you're trying to mow, you'll be able to keep in contact with this roller and keep the mower going at a nice even cut. This roller is adjustable. Right now I've got it at its highest setting, and I, for the type of application that I'm going to use it on today, that's what I want it at. But once I kind of start mowing on a regular basis, I can lower this down and I can gradually get into my cut and make a nice smooth cut every time. All of the main rotating surfaces are greasable. So there are grease zerks on the roller. There's grease zerks on the drive side and on the non-drive side bearing. That helps you to maintain the mower and keep it at its absolute peak performance for as long as possible. You'll also notice inside here, it has an anti-wire cone. And what this does is if you happen to get a piece of wire caught in here, it keeps it from getting caught up inside the drive system. It pushes it always out. And then there's lots of times when I've been mowing and I catch a piece of barbed wire, and next thing I know I've got the whole fence up inside here. 
And what it does is it keeps it all on the inside of the shaft. So then I just take my little four inch grinder and I cut all the wire. I just rotate this a couple times, cut it and all the wire just falls off. And I've got no damage to the inside of the mower. You'll also notice that all of these parts are anodized. Just another key feature that Etera likes to use on all of their mowers. This design features a rubber torque disc. It's a tried and true method that's been around for many years. And so Etera has adopted that into every one of their mower designs. For anybody who's operated one of these mini skid steers, they're really bouncy. That's why the Etera Sidewinder features this roller, which just helps to smoothen out all the rough spots and give you a nice clean cut. What I really like about this mower is it's a lot of power and a lot of durability in a small package. It allows me to put it on the smallest of machines and get into places that I can't get with my big machines. Because it's a flail design, it does a really smooth cut. It's not a large cut, only up to about two inches is what I'll be able to cut with it. And at the two inch mark, it is kind of slow, but it will cut it. But for all of the other stuff, the canary reed grass I've got, the really tall stuff, it's gonna get in there, it's gonna cut it, and it's gonna cut it smooth, and it's gonna get rid of that material. It's not gonna leave it laying on the ground. It's gonna grind it all up and it's gonna mulch it. Now that we've gone over the features and benefits of the Terra Sidewinder mower, let's put it to some good use here. I've got some really rough property, so you're gonna see me bouncing all over the place, but we're gonna go in and do a cut through here and you're gonna see just the quality of the cut that this can provide. Now some of my observations while using the Sidewinder, this pass through here, I'm going a little bit slow. It's simply because I've got an older machine, I don't have the, as high a flow as I really should have for this. It's canary reed grass, so like I said before, it's the carbon fiber of grass. And I want to get it mulched up as small as I possibly can. You'll notice it mulched it and it didn't get wrapped up around the drum. It continued to go through and cut and do a beautiful job. 